Good morning, Barrel Buddies. This is the week of April 19th through April 25th. Want to hear a joke? Why'd the bike fall over? It was too tired. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn more about this week in history and some tips on being a Barrow Buddy. This week in history, on the morning of April 21st, 2016, Prince the Polymethic mu musician, who created more than 30 albums and won seven Grammy Awards over a 40-year career, is found dead in Paisley Park, his Minnesota home and recording studio. The cause of death was an accidental overdose. He was 57 years old. National celebrations this week. April 19th, National Garlic Day. April 20th, Na National Lookalike Day. April 21st, National Bulldogs Are Beautiful Day. April 22nd, Take Your Kid to Work Day. April 23rd, National Cherry Cheesecake Day. April 24th, National Pigs in a Blanket Day. April 25th, National Hug Your Plumber Day. April 26th, National Help a Horse Day. Bear Buddies Are Brave. This week, we're focusing on the letter E. E stands for engaged. One way you can be engaged is using all the work time you are given. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. We're ready for a great week ahead at Barrow Elementary School. I have a few announcements about the week and then we'll look at birthdays. So first, I just wanna congratulate all the students who completed the Brave Challenge. I saw lots of people turn in their cards and um, talk about the different exercises they did. <clears throat> and so congratulations for working hard to complete your Brave Challenge. I hope everyone enjoyed the shirts that our PTA purchased for the entire school, and I hope that you'll wear them proudly for uh, many days coming up in the next few weeks. So um, again, thanks to our PTA for that. Something that's happening this week at Barrow School is our third through fifth graders will be taking the Georgia Milestones test. And this year we are giving the test to see what everyone learned this year, what we still need to work on and what we can um, practice more next year. So I want to make sure that everyone is doing their very best and we um, have come up with a buddies, our brave test taker. So let's look a little bit at some things that you can do to be a brave test taker. Um, so third through fifth grade, you should definitely be paying attention and K through two, these are good ways to be um, a student at Barrow School. So B for bold, be confident that you can do your best, answer every question, even if it's hard, keep trying. So there's gonna be some things that might be tricky and you just need to keep on working on it and persist. R is for responsible and for taking a test, you need to make sure that you get a good night's sleep, eat breakfast at school or at home and be on time for school that, so that you're ready for the test. That's being a responsible test taker. Achiever, we want you to show what you know. You learned a lot this year, so show your stuff. V for valuable, give yourself encouraging messages and be positive. It's really important to say kind things about yourself during a test and pat yourself on the back and say things like, I can do this, I know what I'm doing. So do have some positive messages ready to go. And then E for engage, stay focused the whole time. And you can use strategies like deep breaths, finger stretches when you need kind of a little break to help yourself get re-engaged. So that's being a brave test taker. And we wish all of our third, fourth, and fifth graders good luck on the Georgia Milestones test this week. Let's look at birthdays. <clears throat> this week, happy birthday to Salma Ahmed, Lara Ahmed, Henry Hammond, Tristan Sims, Amiri Brown, Jovian Azuna, Afi Nove, Riker, Comstock, Kamaya Cooper, Aaliyah Freeman, Donovan Johnson, Lawrence Pittman, and Dorian Jones. We have some teachers with birthdays this week, Miss Griffith, Miss Robinson in the office, and Miss Vaughn, happy birthday. 
Miss Douglas wants to give a shout out to her whole class for working so hard on lessons and learning new things. Big shout out to Melanie, Oren, Charlie, Arabella, Stella, and Danasia for being excellent role models. And a shout out to Jay Sam for showing his love for learning every day. Ms. Arnold would like to give a shout out to her entire class for coming back from spring break, ready to focus and learn. We have spent a lot of time this week preparing for milestones and everyone has had a great attitude and put in a lot of hard work to get ready. Way to go fifth grade. For Ms. Bowling's class, Esther wants to shout out Athena for being a great example of a brave buddy, even though she's new to Barrow and for following and list the listening rules. Morgan wants to shout out Reese for being kind and ignoring distractions really well. And Ms. Bowling wants to shout out her whole class for getting faster and faster and responding to the time when it's time to listen. You are all superstars. And I can say I was in that class yesterday and the first graders in Ms. Bowling's class are doing a great job listening and following directions and being ready to learn. Ms. Selleck would like to give a shout out to her class for focusing on testing strategies and skills to prepare for the milestones. Don't stress on the test, you are all gonna rock it. She would like to say a big thank you to Anna, Lucas, Balin, Wright, Yasir, Tierra, Trey, and Hudson for showing great participation and volunteering to answer questions in each subject area. Keep it up. Ms. Hinkle would like to give a shout out to her brave fifth graders for being persistent and focused when working on testing skills to prepare for the milestone. She would also like to thank Josh, Aiden, Willow, Adriana, Jerea, Daphne, and Miguel for volunteering to answer questions and being really engaged. She knows her class is going to do amazing on milestones and give it their all. You guys are amazing. Ms. Freeman wants to give a shout out to Aaliyah for being an amazing role model as our line leader and Amari as our door holder. Shout out to Sherman for being an achiever. Shout out to the whole class for doing great partner work this week and pushing themselves to prepare for milestones. I'm proud of my bold buddies for taking risks. Keep up the great work. Ms. Verdes would like to give a shout out to Eden, Kumani, Adriana, Nathan, and Danvin for continuing to work hard to complete their iReady lessons. Great job, virtual buddies. Keep up the great work. Ms. Kim's class wants to give shout outs to Court, Benjamin, Ava, and Patrick for being good role models in the classroom and also for being kind and including others. Ms. Kim wants to give a shout out to Tirana for bravely starting out at a new school at fourth quarter and becoming such a positive member of our class, Tiana. All right, so many great shout outs. I'm so proud of our buddies for doing such a great job at Barrow School and hope everyone has an awesome week. Here's a joke. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. Before we leave, let's say our barrow honor code together. As a barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. <laughs> 